A housing development that could bring nearly 3,000 new homes to the East County was approved for a second time in Santee tonight, but that didn't stop people from demonstrating against it. Fox 5's Liberty Zavala on the push to get the issue on the ballot. Those in support and those against the Fenita Ranch housing development in Santee made their points loud and clear. This project does not fully mitigate the negative impacts to traffic, air quality, noise, biodiversity. It's, it's a huge negative impact for the citizens of Santee. Without these kinds of projects, candidly, we wouldn't have the housing supply for the residents that already live within Santee to enable them, their children to be able to stay within their community. The Fenito Ranch development by HomeFed would bring nearly 3,000 new homes to the area. HomeFed says it will bring revenue to the city as well as a town center, 1,600 acres of open space and a farm. It's a complete master plan that brings in a new school, a new fire station, beautiful new amenities like parks and trails and open space. But some worry the project would cause traffic gridlock and urban sprawl in a high fired hazard zone. The traffic that is, is going to result from this project, we already have terrible traffic in Santee. And this project is going to generate 26,000 vehicle miles driven per day because of this project. Santee Roads cannot absorb this many vehicles. What we've tried to do is be very responsive to that concern, and we've imposed uh, requirements within the project in enhancing the street surface and enhancing the 52 and working with the local co coalitions for traffic um, to bring on a development of the 52 and enhancement expansion before residents ever move into the project. City Council approved the project four to one, but volunteers with Preserve Wild Santee are collecting signatures to get the project on the ballot. Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.